Number 15, Roar. Sound in the absence of sight can be seriously alarming. This video shows just how frightening it can feel to hear something you cannot see. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Camilla Rose 529 the Redditor explains that she and a friend were cleaning a house when they heard this incredible mayhem outside. Yeah, what was that? Oh, this is freaking me out. They went out to see what was causing all the ruckus. The sound fills up all airspace outside, though garbled. It sounds a bit like a jet flying overhead. A moment later, however, this terrifying roar blows your eardrums out. Maybe not a jet, perhaps a literal monster. Yeah. What was that? Oh, this is freaking me out. Camilla writes, we called the police and they were unable to give us any information about what was going on around us and never went back to that house again. Redditor Paranormal Psychic notes in the comments, there have been multiple eerie sounds coming seemingly from either the woods or the sky itself, usually music, horns, or even screaming. First time I've ever heard growling. Is this a growl? If not, what is it? It certainly doesn't sound human. Number 14. Hinsdale House Haunting There's nothing creepier than finding extra limbs in your home movie. Published to YouTube in March of 2015 by Patrick Cochran, this video of the haunted Hinsdale House in New York will leave you terrified. Located on McMahon Road in Hinsdale, New York, the Hinsdale House runs tours for paranormal investigators and scare fans alike, as it's known to be one of the most haunted houses in the area. The mysterious history of the place includes everything, from an exorcism to unexplainable events and sightings. Some of these events are recorded in the book, Echoes of a Haunting. Haunting is centered around the Dandy family who lived in the home with their kin in the 70s. The family claims a number of spirits visited them during their stay, and they even had a priest come on more than one occasion to perform an exorcism. The house went out though, and the Dandy family eventually fled the haunted place. A number of other families made attempts to call the Hinsdale house their home, but no one stayed for long. The present owner, Daniel Clays, doesn't live in the home, but allows paranormal teams to investigate the home. This video may show an investigation, or just a regular ghost tour. The group wanders through the haunted house in the darkness, which is creepy enough as it is. Then around 2.36 you see it. A strange arm swings into sight in the darkness. What is that? It certainly doesn't look human. YouTuber Tommy Poo writes in the comments, Of all the countless videos I have viewed on YouTube and other social media sites since 2009, this is only the second where I believe visual proof of paranormal entities has been digitally captured. YouTuber Tai Chiman adds, I was involved in the paranormal investigation show as a special guest star at the Hinsdale House two years ago and it has plagued me since with negative activity around me and my home. It seems Tai was certainly not alone in his experience. There's a reason no family ever lasted long in the Hinsdale House. Could you? Me neither. Number 13. The Lady in White The legend of the Lady in White is a global one. Often the Phantom, a woman dressed in all white, is connected to some local event and is spotted in rural areas, usually due to some horrifying event. In the Philippines, they are known as Caparosa. These ghostly women frequent storytelling, particularly horror and mystery stories, often spotted roaming the country. With Quezon City, the Lady in White of Valid Drive being one of the most famous, this particular long-haired lady is believed to have passed away during a drive. Many taxi drivers pulling the graveyard shift claim to have seen the Lady in White, who appears as a beautiful woman requesting a lift. When she gets into the cab and they start driving, the cabbie glances into the rearview mirror and realizes the beautiful woman's face is not what it originally seemed and is terrifying now. The ghastly sight makes the cabbie launch out of his taxi, abandoning it. Other stories come from people driving alone along Ballot Drive in the early morning. They claim to catch the lady in white in their rearview mirror for a moment, only to blink and she's gone. 
The clip purports to show one more apparition of the lady in white, chopped from a Filipino TV show called Capsumo Jessica Soho. The terrifying footage was published to YouTube in April of 2019 by GMA Public Affairs. The episode originally aired in March of that same year. Although most of the clip is storytelling about the legend and reenactments, a short portion around 4 minutes 39 seconds shows a live shot of the graduation, which the lady in white attends in spirit. As the graduates filed in lines outside at night, performing the graduation song, look there on the building's roof just beyond them. The lady in white is perched above, and no one below seems to take any notice. While many in the comments are fearful of this apparition, YouTuber Princess Tjada sees the irony writing, The lady in white thought the graduates were a ladies in white too. Considering they're all dressed in white, that seems a probable explanation. Number 12. Queen Anne Hotel Ignorance is bliss, and sometimes it's best that certain things remain invisible to the human eye. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Miss Doolittle Tex, this video was taken at the Haunted Queen Anne Hotel in San Francisco. Originally posted on YouTube in March of 2020, Tex writes, I have been listening to creepy stories and been watching YouTube videos about ghost investigations and experiences since they existed, which resulted in me paying more attention to my surroundings, heightening my awareness. The Queen Anne Hotel has some history. Located on Sutter Street in San Francisco, initially built as a girls' boarding school, the Queen Anne Hotel is said to be haunted by the former headmistress, Mary Lake. Her office at room 410 is believed to be the most haunted room in the building. The uploader of the video booked this room to stay in overnight. In preparation for the stay, she bought a Fleur thermal cam for her iPhone. She duly notes that the hotel is charming as heck and she didn't feel anything particularly unsettling while there. That is, until she thermal cammed room 410. She tested out her thermal cam on her husband, on electrical sockets, water lines, and other hot and cold spots. Then she entered the bathroom. Pointing her thermal cam towards the half-closed shower curtain, she started to see a figure in the thermal footage next to her that she believed appeared from behind the curtain. As you can see, there is her own thermal image in its reflection, and not too far away right beside it, another full-sized figure. Could it be headmistress Mary Lake herself? When going through pictures she took of the room, the uploader also discovered this creepy face in the wallpaper. Do you see it? It's almost like the room is watching you. Number 11. Agents Abroad Can you imagine being a medical agent right now, forced to enter a lockdown territory? That's what this video apparently portrays, posted by Spicy Rice Photography to the scary subreddit. The video shows the agent entering a dark and deserted apartment block. His walkie-talkie apparently has gone dark on his end. You can hear other agents, but he doesn't speak into it. Jerry, it seems our comms are broken. And I can't hear a word they're saying. He opens the door to an empty bathroom. Nothing untoward there. Next, he opens the door to an empty room. All that's inside is what appears to be a square red mat on the floor. A light source spotlights the mat. As the agent continues to breathe, laboriously in the darkness, correspondence are regularly heard on the walkie-talkies. Suddenly, the agent starts to panic even more. Jerry, your heart rate is spiking again. Is there anywhere you can let me know if you're okay? His legs start moving and kicking, and in the darkness you can see why. The creepy figure of a girl with long black hair dressed in white is creeping toward him. As the agent tries desperately to move away, the girl only continues to slowly approach. The camera falls, white screening for a moment, only to capture one last shot of the girl in white, completely on top of him. While the agent may have been searching for survivors in the darkness, he probably regrets finding this one. Listed as creepy pasta, this is still super creepy. Number 10. Boogeyman Everyone is afraid of the boogeyman, but most people chalk him up to childhood nightmares. But what if the boogeyman is you? This video, published to YouTube in February of 2009 by Dog for Man 92 
Once you see a reflection take on a life of its own, you'll wish this video never existed. The video at first appears normal, a man and his reflection more or less angled accurately in relation to each other. That is until this uncanny moment where the reflection turns. The look it gives its double is a bit more than unnerving. Seeing this video may make you be wary of your own reflection. As YouTuber Sophie Bell notes in the comments, the creepy thing is, unless you are looking at it, all you can see is yourself, so you never know if your reflection is looking back at you. The next time you daze at yourself in the mirror, don't you dare look away. Was this paranormal or a simple camera trick? Either one seems freaky to me. Number 9. Grocery Store Phantom after locking up his shop, Brompton IGA store owner Norm Hurst found a box of fruit snacks in the middle of an aisle, clear and away from its original position. This led him to check his surveillance footage, which has revealed the previous owners may not have been too far off. Hurst told the news that they had warned him that the shop was haunted. Being a skeptic, Hearst thought nothing of it at first, but then odd things began to unfold, and the CCTV footage reveals just one of them. The video shows the packet of fruit roll-ups was thrown quite hard to land where they were found on the ground. No one was in the area when this occurred. In fact, no one was in the store. The incident happened shortly before midnight, when the store was empty. Well, there's a three minute time jump in the video, from 11.27 to 11.30 p.m. This may be due to surveillance cameras only recording when detecting movements. Paranormal detectives were called in to investigate the matter. The box appears to have been thrown with force into the center of the aisle. At least one paranormal investigator. Jessica Pulverenti believes the footage is genuine, noting that no strings or wires appear to be involved. The store owner himself thinks it's all a bit of a laugh. It hasn't done anything nasty, he says. The ghost has a sweet tooth. He can only hope it stays that way. Number 8. Don't Look Back What if you walked into a grocery store and the man across the aisle did this? Published to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Calligram, this video will make you cringe and then maybe throw up a little in your mouth. This is not an illusion. The man in this video, Alexander, is a Russian gymnast who can turn his head 180 degrees. During gymnastics, he discovered that his body was incredibly flexible, particularly his vertebrae. He wanted to test how far this flexibility could go, so he decided to push himself. Alexander explains, I worked on this step by step, going a little further each time, and one day I was able to turn my head all the way around. When I do, it takes energy from my whole body. The complete 180 is like a horror movie. It only took some practice for the gymnast to twist his head around like an owl, but that's not true for just anyone. Alexander's doctor suggests the next swiveling ability is not an act that you can train for. He thinks the trait is congenital. The doctor recommends not to try this at home. For Alexander, though the party trick takes complete concentration to pull off, the act fills his body with a strange energy and he doesn't feel like himself in the moment. Still, he calls it absolutely normal and says the twisty neck doesn't hurt one bit. Funny, it hurts me just to see it. Number 7. Paranormal Light Show Flickering lights are one thing, but a switch visibly turning off of its own accord? That's a whole other story. Posted to the paranormal subreddit by Nutzak, the Redditor writes about this unexplained encounter that his brother caught on camera. According to Nutzak, his brother was home alone, likely checking on his family's dog Oscar, when suddenly the hallway lights started doing their own thing. He recorded the incident as it continued, and this is what he captured. Nutzak states that he lived in the house for two years and has always felt strange vibes but never seen anything firsthand. He writes, Now after watching the video countless times, I am stumped and believe there is something beyond our knowledge happening here. Two switches control this hallway light. Both you can see in the video. One is right next to the guy and the other is at the end of the hallway on the left. According to Nutzak, you can see the light switch nearby turn about halfway down, which, as the Redditor writes, would be impossible to recreate. Next, it flicks off entirely, turning the hallway light off. 
this one you can see as clear as day. Some are all in with the paranormal theory, but there's always a skeptic among us. And this time it's Slick Air who states, a combination of loose wiring and a faulty switch can cause this. Others in the thread suggest not even faulty switches can flip off of their own accord. What do you choose to believe? Number 6. School Ghost If you didn't like going to school, this video will validate your feelings. Posted to YouTube by Alan Ubig in June of 2018, the uploader writes, The ghost of the Victoria School Lagoon was captured on CCTV yesterday at 9 a.m. A man is sweeping the floor, minding his own business, when about 10 feet away, two items which look like standing dustpans glide across the room, moving from one side of the path to the other. No one else is around. The strange thing is that the man cleaning just watches this happen, but doesn't react whatsoever. Maybe he's all too familiar with the Victoria School ghost. Who or what is playing here? Is it something that can be explained, or is this school undoubtedly haunted? Number 5. Coal Harbor House Next time you're confronted by voices in a haunted house, you should probably just skip town. Redditor Alex underscore Paranormal TV posted the scary paranormal investigation to the Chills Narrator subreddit. It was originally posted on YouTube in February of 2020. The house being explored is a Coal Harbor house in London. As Alex Paranormal explains, we investigate the Cold Harbor house that no one wants to live in because of the extreme activity and what resides inside the Shadow Man. The exploration turns up loads of paranormal activity. At 8.53 in the video, Alex mumbles something as they're exploring, to which a disembodied voice answers, Yeah. A little later, after setting up the spirit box, it either moves or falls over on its own at 16 minutes 7 seconds. Well, it's coming through stuff, mate. Did you just knock that? Oh, oh man. It's not the mic, I'm a dad. Who are you? A short time after, at 16 minutes 55 seconds, an evil laugh occurs as the team attempts to speak with the spirits. Is this your room? Where are you? The laughter occurs again at around 22 minutes 9 seconds. <laughs> and at 22 minutes 49 seconds, a grunt can be heard. You just grunt then? Who was that? Was that you? As they're talking about the grunt, a very audible knock sounds on the adjacent door at 23 minutes 35 seconds. They continue to explore the haunted house. While they're in a hallway, about to enter another room, a door slams at 26 minutes 55 seconds. Oh, hold Slaps on. Is that you? No. Continuing in their exploration after a while, they discover an old Tonka truck in a room. When one guy asks if that's an old Tonka toy, a disembodied voice at 31 minutes 52 seconds answers, yeah. Look at that. That's an old Tonka toy, isn't it? A number of other disembodied voices are noted throughout the video, as if the house was whispering a secret to them. If only they'd just listen. What was it trying to tell them? And what would you do in a house that talks to you? I'd just move out. Number 4. Jin Possession in mythology, jinn are beings that appear in human form and are of a spirit level lower than angels. They have been known to possess humans. It appears one is possessing this boy in this video. An attempt to exorcise the demon is being made. As a man chants, the boy sits in a chair beside him, completely out of it. The boy shakes his head, making demonic voices. While the man continues to chant, he starts to rock with the music, his body shaking more and more. The man eventually puts a hand on his head, and the song stops. The boy is gasping for breath. They spray him in the face with a spray bottle of some liquid, perhaps holy water. The man later continues in his chant, patting the boy and moving him around variously. The boy becomes still and quiet for a while. Not long after, you can hear screaming from the other side of the room. Finally, you can see where it's coming from. Another woman, also appearing possessed. 
Was this boy at last exercised of the gin, or did it simply just make its way into this other woman's body? Number 3. What are you thinking? Uncanny videos without explanations are often creepy in their own right, but this one takes it to a whole new level. Posted to YouTube by Gugun Reaper in October of 2016, the video is titled, What Are You Thinking? Deep Web Video. Soon it will have you asking yourself that very question. The clip shows someone in a black trash bag with a white cloth tied over his head. The thing coughs a few times, looking super sad and terribly creepy. At one point it lifts its hands to its mouth and suddenly its mouth is flooded red. It's unclear what is happening. Is this thing coughing up red liquid? Fernando Costa suggests in the comments. He was starting to hick it all up slowly then blam. Bile and everything all finally came up. In the end, the thing holds a piece of paper with writing on it. You can see through the paper. And though he's holding it upside down, it reads, What are you thinking after watching this video? All it's doing for me is creeping me out. Number 2. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Remember when you were younger and you heard the twinkling song of the ice cream truck calling all the neighborhood out for a sweet treat? Well, would you have come running if it had sounded like this? YouTuber John Bob Guy published this clip in June of 2008, writing that this demonic ice cream van shows up every single day at his apartment complex. The thing always scares his cat. The cat is probably not the only one with hair on end. Usually parents tell their kids if strangers offer candy to run like cack, particularly strangers in white creepy vans. Well this scenario isn't too far off. The ice cream truck's tune sounds nothing short of creepy, giving it a distinct horror movie vibe. You know the warbling song right before Chucky pops out and takes a life. You can almost expect the clown from IT to be serving up soft serves from this truck. Probably not the most inviting image. To add to the creepiness, the vehicle isn't even a truck but is literally a white van driving very slowly through a neighborhood to lure passers-by. And at the end of the video, it seems one is lured as a person comes running over to order from the creepiest ice cream van ever. YouTuber Lynn writes in the comments, If animals act weird around this sort of thing, it's definitely haunted. The rat nest adds, And the people who posted this were never seen again. One thing's for sure, this evil tune should never exist. Before we get to number 1, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. Are you curious about what I look like in real life? Then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT to find out. Do you like my narrations? If you answered yes, then tap the follow button and thank you for your support. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person. So if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way, you'll be notified of the new video we upload every Tuesday. Number 1. Don't open the door. Just when you thought you were alone, posted to the ghost subreddit by littlebit underscore, the redditor notes that he and a friend on an investigation of an abandoned church in the middle of nowhere, he explains that his friend had gone to the parking lot on the other side of the building. He had stepped out to call his wife, he writes, and didn't return inside the building for another 10 minutes. Didn't even see this footage until after we had left. Creepy as heck. The footage shows a figure's head appearing in the window pane of the door several times, the short dark veering in at him. Some in the comments suggest it's probably just his friend outside, but as the Redditor explains, his friend wasn't in the building. He thinks the figure looks like a nun or a woman that, if you look closely, the face of the figure appears ghostly white. A close-up shot of the face does indeed suggest that appearance. Is this a ghost? A living person? A stranger or his friend? The question is, can there be a logical explanation to this? figure's presence, or are we dealing with the paranormal yet again? Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!